In this section, we want to ask you some questions about Dyrdon Station's historic building. Dyrdon Station is a historic district entered into the National Register as the Southern Pacific Depot as of April 1st, 1993. It is architecturally significant as a late example of the Italian Renaissance Revival style in commercial architecture in California. The National Register District listing includes components which are still standing today, including the Dyrdon Station Depot building. The current station design effort seeks to preserve the Dyrdon Station Depot building in place. Both design alternatives retain the historic station's main hall, but both impact the station's annex structure. The alternatives A and B that we are referencing in this video are the same alternatives A and B we have been reviewing throughout the open house. Both alternatives imagine converting the current waiting area into a passageway into a new and much larger passenger concourse. Seating would be available in other parts of the station. In alternative A, the new underground level of the historic station would be connected to the historic building by lowering the floor and creating a gallery level above the ground floor. In alternative B, the hall would be converted into a passageway by removing the benches and converting the windows on either side of the doors into additional doorways. The view of the historic station from the arrival platform design will also depend on the alternative chosen. In alternative A, the concourse building is below the current ground level and the historic station building is in sight as you get on and off the train. In alternative B, the concourse is at the current ground level and the historic station is not in sight. There are three options that the project team is currently considering updating the exterior of the historic station building, each with different possible placements for the awning. An awning is an overhang attached to the exterior wall of the building that protects people from the sun or rain. In each of these options, the lower floor of the station does not yet have a set design. Option one is to maintain the awning in its original position and leave the windows unchanged. This option minimizes changes to the building. That does mean, however, that the awning would be two stories above the new lower building entrance level, making it less useful. Option two lowers the awning to maintain the same height above the new ground level. This will place the awning closer to the entrance and maintain the awning's function. Option three is to lower the awning as in option two. It additionally connects the upper and lower windows to create larger single arched windows. This would give the historic station a grander appearance and increase natural light in the building. 